Hello everybody, Tahoe Yak Fisher here. I'm going to do a real quick video at the request of one of my subscribers uh, who recently purchased a Scrambler 11 for himself. Now he had asked what I did for a seat upgrade and when I told him that I put a Hobie seat on my kayak he mentioned that I must really like the Hobie accessories and because I also used a Hobie hatch up here in the front. Now uh, I would like to just throw out a little disclaimer that I worked for a Hobie dealer for a short time doing maintenance for them on their boats and rental bicycles and things like that and so therefore had access to Hobie accessories. Now if you guys follow my channel you know I also have a Hobie Outback and let me just say that yes the quality of their products is better than the quality of other products I have seen and had a chance to use. Hobie stuff is in fact top notch. Some of it is just made by other manufacturers and branded for them but I think a lot of that the stuff that they sell is made very specifically for them. The quality of the hull and the Mirage Drive and all of the components on my Outback are just insanely good. Now, the seat that I purchased for this kayak and the hatch I purchased for this kayak primarily ended up being Hobie because that's what I could get a deal on. Now, the hatch I did a fair amount of research and measuring. I told you guys I did not want a rubber lid. This oval is intended to cut out and put a rubber lid. And if you're going to stack gear on top under these bungees, that rubber lid is going to collapse. And I had decided a round hatch would be a better idea. Hobie's six inch hatch would, was the largest one that would fit on that oval you know without overhanging the edges and give me the access to the hull that I wanted. I'm glad I ended up with the Hobie hatch for a few reasons versus some of the cheaper stuff you can buy on Amazon or whatever. This hatch has a backing plate with uh, receptacles that the screws screw into making it unnecessary to use nuts and bolts. Uh, one situation where screws were acceptable for my application and this twist lock seals it very well as you twist it closed it pulls that o-ring down into the seal and I haven't had any water in the hull and that's really the only hole in the hull that this boat has now that's not what Dan asked about he asked about the seat this is the seat um, it is the paddle series seat. It is pretty well cushioned. I don't know if you can see that, but I would say that it is a good solid inch, inch and a half thick cushioning in the back as well. The, the seat cushion itself, I'd say is about three quarters of an inch. You know, it's got softer material on top, harder material on the bottom and a little drain hole. So you're not going to get any water in it. Um, worked fine on this kayak. Now the, the stock straps were a little on the short side. Um, they would reach to here, but it was all the way at the very end of the webbing. So I tied a couple of nylon rope loops on either side on the pad eye. They stay with the kayak when the seat is removed. I just remove it. These loops stay with the kayak. And... They're actually longer than they need to be. I haven't readjusted them from my first attempt, but the seat adjusts quite nicely. The rear straps were the opposite. They were a bit on the long side. So I've got the excess webbing folded up and zip tied so that it's not hanging around on the boat. Stock pad eye for the stock seat. So, very nice seat. You know, it's a little on the stiff side. I think it's going to break in and be more comfortable as time goes. But it's much more comfortable than the stock original seat that came with this Scrambler. Is it the end-all be-all? I don't know. This is the one I had access to uh, at a good deal. And it was certainly better than the seat that came with the boat. This is the seat that came with the boat. Pretty thin corduroy, a little bit of padding in between. 
Um, but I wanted Dan, you know, to see this. If, if this is not the seat that you got and you want to give this seat a try, this is the one I told you I'd be willing to donate to the cause. So if you have this same seat, then so be it. I'll hang on to it for a spare for someone else at a later date, but I'm not going to use it for anything. And I mean, maybe if I hang, if I still have it when I decide to change kayaks which I'm not sure I'm going to do because I really like this kayak then I could keep this seat and sell the kayak with that seat but likely that seat's just going to sit in my storage and get old so um, if you'd like to give it a try let me know um, now he lives close enough to potentially pick it up so Anybody that sees this, if you live close enough to pick it up and you want to give that seed a try, go ahead and send me a message. Uh, but Dan does have first dibs. Anyway, um, Hobie accessories are first rate, and I will oftentimes look at them first when I need an accessory, only because of how much I like my boat. The fact that I do have a local Hobie dealer that I can get things from, um... By the way, this seat retails for about 95 bucks. So, uh, however that plays into the equation. Anyway, um, that's about it for that. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you very much for watching. Yak Fisher out.